Hey, what's up everyone? So this week I want to share an exercise that I use that helps me really remember jazz standards um, or any tune for that matter. What I do is I learn the melody and then I'll incorporate the bass note with that melody and then I'll take it a step further and actually kind of make a Bach cello suite out of it and arpeggiate the chord and then have the melody sit on the top of each of these arpeggiated chords. Before I figured out this exercise, I would play a jazz standard or a song that I hadn't played in a long time, play the melody, and the harmony that I was hearing behind it was just really ambiguous. I'd have to go back to the recording and kind of figure it out. This is of course without accompaniment behind me, it's just me with my instrument playing solo. So using this technique has helped me basically play melodically the, with my instrument, the melody, and the chords. And it, it helps me a lot with transposing melodies to the keys because when I play that bass note, it lets me know where the melody sits in each chord. So transposing makes it a lot easier. And then just in general soloing, I think knowing where the that strong melody sits within the harmony, it's gonna help out. Um, you guys might have heard this before or I don't know, some verb variation of it. I kind of figured it out on my own. Um, and it's my go-to when I first learn a, a tune. So this tune I'm gonna demonstrate it on is Just Friends. I'm gonna do an A flat. Seems to be a good key on the alto, especially with this exercise. And I'll play, just I'll use the bass note and the melody for the first uh, part of the form, the A, B. And the second part of the form, A, C, I'll do the arpeggiated Bach cello suite type of thing. And then I'll do some soloing and then take it out. Thank <laughs> you. 